Hi guys, my name is Dusty Colton Cooper. Uh, I am the YouTuber vlogger Redneck. Uh, I'm still trying to come up with a good name for that. You, the you, the Redneck of vlog, Redneck of vlogger, something that to call myself. But this is Redneck of vlog number two. Uh, last Redneck of vlog number one. I told you an introduction about my videos and my channel, but I didn't tell you as much about who I am as a person and as a redneck. So I thought for this video I would do that. Um, uh, redneck of vlog number two: things you don't know about me. Um, for one, I was born in Alabama, and at, at a young age I moved to Arizona with my family because my dad had a job at a nuclear power plant that he needed to attend to. So we left, we packed our bags and left, and for one, I am very sad about our move because we were in the south and there were many more like me back in Alabama. We have visited now and then to visit family, but there are so many more rednecks in Alabama than there are here, and I really miss that about Alabama a lot. Things you don't know about me, number two, one of my favorite movies of all time is <coughs> is Ernest Goes to Camp. I think it's a national treasure, if I do say so myself. People always go on about these movies that are so brilliant and so great, and nobody ever mentions Ernest Goes to Camp, which I think they should because it's a cinema classic. Um... It stars lovable uh, goofball Ernest P. Worrell, uh, and he goes to camp in this one. And the whole m movie is basically him at camp, and a hilarious comedy comes from his uh, wacky uh, antics. And uh, I think it's a really funny movie, but it also has a lot of heart, and it teaches you that family and friends are the m number one most important thing in life. And I think that's really special and something a lot of kids could really learn from by watching Ernest Goes to Camp. Ernest Goes to Jail sucked. I, I didn't like that. But Ernest Goes to Camp is a family-friendly movie. And it's a classic, and I love it. Things You Don't Know About Me, number three. Uh, Larry the Cable Guy is probably the funniest man on earth. I know I'm going out on a limb here and I may be biased because I am a redneck like Larry the Cable Guy, but like Larry the Cable Guy, I understand rednecks and I get their humor. Jeff Foxworthy, he more makes fun of rednecks while I can take a joke, but I don't consider him to be celebrating rednecks as much as Larry the Cable Guy does. Larry the Cable Guy seems that he really appreciates rednecks and l loves rednecks and f I for one can really get behind that and I think that's a very good thing that he does and I applaud him for it and I th think he's really funny on top of that but he is very smart if you l listen to his interviews he seems like a very intelligent man as well as a funny person number three four things you don't know about me I don't like YouTube comments where they bash rednecks or say that rednecks are not good um I always reply to these comments that I see because rednecks are lovable people and I do love them but when people say they aren't good or they don't like them they're wrong entirely like I can understand people saying they don't like hipsters or they don't like uh they don't like politicians or or maybe plumbers but rednecks there's no reason to hate a redneck and i agree with that number five things you don't know about me um i like to play uh some f football throwing the pigskin Originally, that's what I wanted to do in life was to join the NFL and have a job in the NFL. But 
I don't think that's going to be an option because I'm not going to college, but I will be working, doing yard work. I do that, but I do love to play football and what I want to do in life, I don't know at this moment, I'm kind of lost, but I would like to be a, a professional YouTube vlogger if that's possible. I know a lot of people make their living off YouTube, like that Shane Dawson, a uh, homosexual fellow, as well as um, that Ray William Johnson guy, and that Smosh comedy uh, duo, like Monty Python. I would like to do that. I think it'd be a good way to make a living, and I just I just need more people to watch my videos is all and subscribe more. Um, the fifth thing you don't know about me is, um, I, I am 17 and I, right now I can drive my truck and my truck is probably the best thing in my life right now. I love my truck with a passion. You can get rid of everything else in my life except for my truck and I would be a-okay, as they say. Um, it's probably the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I adore it and I need it and if I don't touch it every day I get withdrawals and I get like an urge in my body that I need to just grab that wheel and take it for a spin. The sixth thing you don't know about me is I'm a very good carpenter. I've made several things. I don't know if I have them in the garage right now. Oh, that's cardboard. Uh, I have many pro. Oh, one second. Even when I was a little kid. I would make these projects like this one. It says it says visitor. Visitors. Obviously, when I was a kid, I was young. I didn't know how to spell visit visitors. But it's an alien, as you can see, because we live right next to Roswell, New Mexico. So, well, we live next to New Mexico, but Roswell is in New Mexico where the UFO landed. And I wholeheartedly believe in the little green men like E.T. and um, Invader Zim. I do believe in them. And I know a lot of people will call me crazy, but I do think that they're out there and they do exist. Why would, why would we be the only alone ones on this planet? But visitors work. Uh, shop it says visitors workshop and that is what I would do as a kid and I still make little projects you know with a paper cutter or, or some pliers uh, any of these tools in my garage in this garage are like are like like little tools for me to make things uh, like alcohol I can make something out of that and uh, the sixth thing you don't know about me is oh, I'm running out of things to say uh, I like camouflage a lot as you can see I've only worn these things in my videos um, uh, I think the reason why I like camouflage so much is because it's really deep when you think about it um, you know camouflage if you're very uh, uh, have low self-esteem as a person. Camouflage will kind of be that mask to hide you away from the world if you don't want to see the person who you are inside, if you know what I mean. I, it's like philosoph uh, philosophical, the kind of uh, importance of camouflage. And it's good for hunting and having elk not see you. But other than that, I think camouflage is very nice. And I like to wear it. The other thing you don't know, seventh thing you don't know about me. Um, I 
Uh, I don't really know what else to say. I have a family. I have a dog. I have a beagle. His name is Blue. Uh, I think that's about it for this video because I can't think of anything else. But if you have any questions for me, I may do a questions and answers video after this one or sometime after maybe for my 100th video special. Leave your comments below and just let me know. Uh, Alright, that's it. Bye. <laughs>